Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we have a super quick one, Keith DeFazio style from New Level Auto. It's a already diagnosed vehicle, but I will go through exactly what I went through to find out what I, uh, what the diagnosis became. So the concern of the customer of this 2010 Toyota Corolla was um, that all the dash lights were on. We look over here and here are all the dash lights on with the engine running at idle. Oh, I'm sorry, it was running. I think I turned it off. Um, I do get a PCM light, PCM lights on, but I get all the lights are on, but I got no speedometer, right? The cluster is just, uh, it's just gone AWOL. We got a cold engine, even though the engine is hot. So first thing I do is get into the vehicle, bring it in and go look for my scan tool. And these are the codes that pop up. I got zero codes across three modules. So, um, already huge red flag. There's a communication issue. I have no communication with my PCM, yet the engine runs. So, I look up the wiring diagram for my comms. And here's my data link connector. There's a junction block over here and all of my, you know, my ECM, my brake control module, this and that. So the first thing I do is pop the hood and I uh, key on engine off, disconnect the PCM and my, uh, my waveform doesn't change. I'm going to show you the waveform that I got. Do the same thing with the ABS module and nothing happens. So I say, well, what's the easiest way for me to get into this is would be to find this juncture block here, this junction connector E71. I hope you all can see that. It says that it's on the left side of the dash. So I jump in and this is the waveform I get. I put in my breakout box with the U scope. Um, this is the waveform that I get on the can line. Not too pretty. That is definitely not a can signal. So I'm looking for the junction block. I need to fit into the car, right? So. I come back, pull the seat back, and guess what? My can line is good. <laughs> so this, this just goes to show the power of keeping an eye on what you're doing. Because I looked, I looked back at the screen, I had the Pico hooked up. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's clean. And all my lights, when I turn it off and then turn it back on, all my lights turn off and my tack works and my coolant works, my coolant temp sensor works, and my signal is good. So I look in here, take wiggle a couple wires, and then I see a little something right here. I hope you all can see this one. Uh, that might be a little difficult to see, but I'm gonna try my best to edit it so that you all can see. There's a little bit of a blue wire over there, and there's a little bit of a residue, blue residue on there. And when I move up the seat, let me see if I can keep the flashlight here. This is what happens when I move the seat. See that metal bar? This is what happens. Cuts my communication. So, Got lucky on that one. I'm not going to lie. I got lucky on that one. But sometimes uh, these communication diagnostics, they, uh, they can really take us for a ride or they can be really easy. It's, it could be as easy as adjusting your seat to fit in the car. But I uh, hope you enjoyed all this. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, it's, it's, it's a quick one, but never underestimate the power of uh, a visual inspection and always uh, keep an eye on your movements you know what did you do um, the best way I would say to go about it is you know look at the waveform confirm that the, the waveform is no good and do one thing at a time and keep an eye on that waveform so that you don't lose track it makes no sense to disconnect a bunch of modules and do all these movements just to find that your waveform cleaned up and then you have to go back and and find out what you did and uh, you may forget something along the way so and here we are real quick this is the yaw rate sensor says it right there and I was wrong, it's not the blue wire that was uh, shaved. It was the white wire 
shorting to this bracket here, this protector. So that's it. Um, she's gonna do a quick uh, repair and uh, she'll be on her way. Oh yeah, and one of the other complaints was obviously since there's a communication issue here, you will not have AC. So that's another thing to remember. There's a lot of functions uh, happen. Not only the cluster goes wonky, but uh, the AC system starts wigging out too. So uh, that's another one for the books. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Till next time.